You'll have another Walmart for $293.61. It's blankets, towels. It was all taken by George to the prison. No, ma'am. No, this was in October of 2016, madam. He was still in jail. Right. It was taken to him oh. on visits. Oh. They're allowed a 35-pound food package. Okay. I also have... Shh. Let me tell you, madam. If you tell the truth, you don't have to have a good memory. Right. Did you ever hear that expression? Absolutely. Okay. Do you know what you wrote in your answer? I don't remember. <laughs> I, I really, I don't. Well, what you said in the answer is, while incarcerated, Joe decided he didn't want to deal with his credit card debt oh, yes. and told me that he planned on filing for bankruptcy upon his release from prison. Therefore, he instructed me to go ahead and use his credit cards. Not yes. Don't just... That's what she wrote. I have evidence of it. I don't... Listen to me. Don't you understand? Whether you did it because he told you to do it, because he planned on filing for bankruptcy or not, if you used his credit card for yourself, for that reason that he told you, don't have to worry, I don't have to pay that bill because I'm going to file for bankruptcy, you were a co-conspirator in defrauding the credit card company. Oh. You! were a co-conspirator in defrauding the credit card company. You were buying things on his credit card knowing that he didn't intend to pay for it. Yes, ma'am. That makes you a co-conspirator. I didn't know that, but... Well, then you see, you shouldn't try to be cute. Because if I gave Bird my visa and said, go have a party with my visa because I'm never going to pay them. I'm going to file for bankruptcy. And Bird took my credit card and went and used it. Under those circumstances, he would be committing a fraud. He would be using that credit card knowing that it wasn't going to get paid. Do you understand? So I yes, don't believe anything that you tell me. I have proof from the officers who listened to the recorded phone calls from prison. I have their supplemental reports. Just a second. I'm more than happy to read a supplementary report from a police officer. What did you do with his tax refund? Uh, he, uh, what? He told me to take it out. I gave it to his friend, George. He kept telling me to withdraw it. He gave me his PIN number. I put it in an envelope. My sister counted it. She was there with me when we told George, it's right here with your coffee mug in your, when he first picked ah! it up. <laughs> yeah, I know. I didn't get a receipt. Ma'am. But I did Just give it to don't him. Don't speak. Don't speak. Yes, ma'am. Give me the supplementary reports. How much was the tax refund? Uh, approximately $2,000. How much was your tax refund? I have the uh, paperwork. Just tell me how uh, much the tax refund was. The federal was $1,397. And the state was three hundred and seventy-nine dollars. And before I was Shh. Okay. One of the officers listened to some calls, and the officer says there may be and he did interview Carl and George. Did you ever have any sort of relationship with either one of those men? No. No. Not Mr. B no. Hey, no. Okay. You gave her your PIN number. No. Yes, it says there was where the victim gives the suspect his PIN number for his credit card so she can withdraw money. My PIN numbers and everything was in an accordion thing with no, all no, my this information. Was, no, no, no. This was a call. What happened is, she says, he gave me some permission. Police officer obtained a subpoena to acquire phone calls between the victim and the suspect. Okay? Got it?